After working with Fetus Bikes to take home the Irish National Downhill titles the past few years, I decided it was time to take on the next challenge, the Masters World Championships. Colin's decision to, to race in Masters Worlds. As soon as he got the bike, we got feedback. Every time he, he was doing timed runs, we were able to see the impact of the small changes we were making, evolving the linkage design, evolving the kinematics, evolving the engineering of the frame. All went hand in hand with the hard work he was putting in. Working closely with the Vetus team, r and engineers like Alan and Dale, he was able to hone in what he needed out of the bike to be able to perform at his best. So, yeah, a long, long process to get there, but certainly there's no better man to do it. So in the run-up to the Andorra Masters World Champs, we were all kind of aware of Roscoe heading out to the tracks like Fort William. And unfortunately, on one of the last sections of the track, just as you kind of come over the iconic uh, Tiso jump, by this time your hands are absolutely toast. Your arms are pumped up. You're ready to, to go home, ready for your bed. Yeah, it's the elevator section because you get the butterflies in your tummy. You basically go weightless off the top. So yeah, Roscoe's coming down it, crest the hill, probably just about to get weightless, and there's three people or three or four people walking up the track. It's an absolute nightmare. It's the worst thing you could ever imagine. Okay? Horrific accident okay? and only three weeks before uh, going off to Andorra. So, you know, most people probably would have cancelled their plane tickets and, uh, and sacked it off. But uh, yeah, Colin still turned up and the rest is history, I suppose. July 2018, Masters Downhill World Championships, Andorra. A lifetime of effort, training and setbacks, all boiled down to the next five minutes. It was my time to put it all on the line. I remember getting the updates uh, from uh, from the guys and how Colin's doing and, and seeing the times coming in was was unbelievable. You can see the splits splits coming up live on screen. We can see he was on it. You're just waiting and waiting and waiting and then bang, Colin, you know, explodes out of the trees. On, you literally could, you know, get it all wrong. You could lose, you could lose a tenth, you could lose a second, you could hit the deck. Um, so it's not, the job's not done. Um, but Colin was full gas, full commitment. The lights went green, crossed the line in first, and we were all yelling, screaming. You know, everyone was just so stoked. It was, yeah, it's amazing seeing Colin, especially like on, on one of our bikes as well. Um, it's just, there's no better feeling, really. It's cool. Come on! <laughs> Brilliant, man! Well done! <laughs> and the winner of the world! champion gold medal from Ireland, Colin Rose! So many people have helped me along this journey and there's no other feeling like it to finally be able to take the rainbow jersey home.
In the realm of two wheels, where courage meets speed, there's a legacy that transcends time. For Colin Ross, the goal of becoming one of the fastest riders in the world has defined his life. It's etched in every scar and every drop of sweat shed on the trails. It's not just a personal journey. It's about igniting a flame in others, about dreams shared, challenges overcome, and inspiring the next generation to ride faster and fly higher. As Colin embraces his role as a mentor and coach, he shares wisdom earned through every challenge, every victory, and every defeat. For Colin and Caleb Ross, the journey continues as they ride on, leaving tire tracks of inspiration for generations to come.